Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy, who is in though? And we back talking sports. I hate I had to do this. I love Jalen Brown. I hate I had to do this. This Tatum hate has got niggas bumping their heads, bro. It's got niggas bumping their heads, for real. It's got niggas bumping their heads. So right here, you have their overall stats. <clears throat> Mind you, Jalen Brown was drafted a year before Taylor. <sighs> they tell me that Jalen Brown is better than Jason Tatum. I tell them how. It's not a better scorer. It's not a better rebounder. It's not a better facilitator. Defender, I'll probably give him that. Tatum has the lead in points, rebounds, assists, steals, blocks, three-point percentage, free throw percentage, block pu- box plus minus, value of replacement player, which I don't care about that. First team All-NBA, All-NBA, and All-Stars. But that don't even matter. What I want to get to is we finna break down these whole playoffs, bro. This whole finals first. We finna break down this whole finals, bro. Mm-mm. I need the basketball reference. Yeah. I need basketball reference. So, we finna break this all the way down. Game one. Game one. Jason Tatum was 6 of 16. That's terrible. Jalen Brown was 7 of 12. That's phenomenal. Jason Tatum was 3 of 7 from 3. That's 42%. That's really good. Jalen Brown was 33%. He shot 50% from the free throw line. But Jason Tatum, 11 rebounds, led the team in assists as well, along with Derek Wright and Drew Holiday. But he had six turnovers. That was not good. So he had, but if you look at it, he had a, they were plus 19 when he was on the floor. So even though his shot wasn't going, he still was able to rebound the ball and facilitate if you watch this game. Jalen Brown had 22 points. He was a plus 12. He had three blocks, three steals. He was phenomenal on the defensive end. Six rebounds. Two assists. He had he was six of eleven from the free throw line. That's awful. So he was more efficient. Okay. Next game. Game two. Tatum goes 6 of 22. His shot still is not falling. Jalen Brown goes 8 of 15. 1 of 5 from 3. Jason Tatum has nine rebounds, 12 assists, leads the team in assists, 18 points, a plus six. Jalen Brown was a minus three when they were on the floor. Eighteen points, twelve assists, nine rebounds. He shot terrible from the field. This is the reason why Jason Tatum is better than Jalen Brown. If Jalen Brown goes 6 of 16 from the field or 6 of 20 from the field, other than defense, he's not impacting the game, bro. And that's that's the fact. That's the fact of the matter. He's not impacting the game. When Jason Tatum didn't have a shot going, what'd he do? He rebounded the ball, nine, nine rebounds, 
12 assists. And he was guarding Daniel Gafford, too. He literally was was guarding interior and guarding on the perimeter. Jalen Brown wasn't doing that. He was guarding the best player. I give Jalen Brown that all the way. Now, let's go to the next game. Game three. Game three. Jason Tatum goes 11 of 26. That's still not really good. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown was more efficient than Tatum. I'll give you that 100% of the way. Jalen Brown was 12 of 22. 2 and 9 from 3. Jason Tatum was 4 of 13. 5 of 5 from the free throw line. Once again, Jason Tatum, 5 assists. Jalen Brown led them in assists this game. Jason Tatum, 5 assists, 6 rebounds, 1 steal, 2 turnovers. He had 31 points. So 31, 6, and 6. Jalen Brown had 38 rebounds, 8 assists. So Jalen Brown had the better game this game, right? 31, 6, and 6, and 5 assists, 1 steal. The next game, they both were terrible. The next game, they both was terrible, so it don't even really matter. Jason Tatum was 4 of 10. Jalen Brown was 3 of 12. They both was horrible. Yeah, they, they both was horrible. So. Then we go to the closeout game. In the closeout game, Jalen Brown was terrible again. That's the difference. Jalen Brown was terrible for two games in a row. Jason Tatum, in this was game five, 11 of 24. Jalen Brown was seven of, of 23. Both of them, their shot was not falling at all. At all. So Jason Tatum gave you 31, led the team in points, led the team in assists. Right there tied for the team in steals. He was second in rebounds. So he had 31, 8, and 11, and two steals. And everybody was a plus, at least a plus 18. Jalen Brown had 21, 8 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals. But he was 7 to 23. Now... That shows you Jason Tatum was doing more than it's more than just scoring the basketball, bro. It's more than just scoring the basketball. More than just scoring the basketball. Now, if we look just facts, if we look in the playoffs, bro. Jason Tatum scored 351 playoff points in his rookie season. Only one playoff, only one player with more. Now, we can go to the playoffs. Jason Tatum averaged 25, 10 assists, I mean 10 rebounds basically. 25, 10, and 6 on one steal. 
86% from the free throw line. His three-point shot has fallen off, and his field goal percentage needed to get better. 25, 10, and 6. Let's see what Jalen Brown. Twenty four, six and three. So you got twenty five, ten and six versus twenty four, six and three. I'm pretty sure he's more efficient because he takes he has a better shot selection than Jason Tatum. I'll give him that. Fifty one percent from the field. Thirty two percent from three. So Jason Tatum averaged more points, assists, and rebounds. Same amount of steals. Better from the free throw line. But y'all telling me this man is better than him. I'm just not seeing it. I'm just not seeing it. And the reason why is, y'all will look at, the reason why is, Y'all hate Jason Tatum. You want to call him corny? Fine. But the hate and the lies that y'all tell about Jason about Jalen Brown being better than Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown can only affect the way and affect the game in two ways. Defending and scoring. That's it. Jason Tatum can affect rebounding the ball. He can affect as a playmaker. He can affect defensively, not as much as uh, Jalen Brown, but he might be a more versatile defender because he can guard damn near one through three, sometimes four, but one through three for sure. Jalen Brown probably one through three too. He can guard that. Maybe one through four because Jason Tatum is a little bigger than Jalen Brown. Now... You're going to sit here and tell me, because basically what y'all saying is, since he's better than Jason Tatum, he could have led them without Jason Tatum, right? He literally had 25, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists versus 24, versus 24, versus 24 points, 5, five rebounds, 5 rebounds, and like 3 assists. There's no way a player who only there's no way a player who affects the game in more ways than his teammate is not better. Y'all want Jalen Brown to be the better player. But when you sit down and actually look at it, he's not. And it's not hating on Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is a phenomenal player. Top 15 player in the world in my eyes. At, at, at worst, he's a top 15 player in the world. I believe Jason Tatum is the top five player in the world. That's just my opinion. Because I don't get blinded by the jokes and the hate and all this. Now y'all trying to put an asterisk by the Celtics championship. Y'all want to do this every time y'all don't like somebody who win. This shit is sad and it's sickening, bro. And like I said, I will use my platform to tell the truth. I don't care if it's a thousand niggas against me. I'm going to stand on my own, too, and what I believe, and what I believe is the truth. And I just showed y'all this was the truth. I showed y'all what Tatum needed to work on, how he was inefficient in the finals, and how because he was inefficient, he found other ways to affect the game. Playmaking, rebounding, defense. Jalen Brown didn't have to playmake. He wasn't rebounding like like Tatum. He wasn't guarding power forwards like uh. Like Gafford and all that, he was guarding Luca, and I give him a hundred percent of that. That's why I say he's the better defender, not by a whole bunch though. When it comes to playmaking, it's not close. When it comes to scoring, I still will take Tatum. Put some respect on his nigga name, bro. That's why Jason Tatum for MVP. 
I hope Tatum or SGA win MVP next year. That's a fact. SGA because he was snubbed, and Tatum because y'all just keep running y'all fucking mouth, bro. Y'all just keep running y'all damn mouth, bro. <laughs> y'all keep running y'all mouth. But shout out to Jalen Brown. But I hated I had to do this, but I heard some shit on Gill's Arena. Um, Brandon Jennings talking about he not the best. He cooked. He not the best player on his team. How he not the best player on his team? What does Jalen Brown do better than, than, than Jason Tatum? Defense, that's about it, bro. Ball handling, Tatum. Free throw shooting, Tatum. Overall three-point shooting, Tatum. Scoring, Tatum. Rebounding, Tatum. Just saying, bro. Just got to face facts. That might not like him, but it's just the truth. It's been Who is Hendo with another video. I'm going to keep pushing out the truth. I'm out. Peace.